Hi, in this video I'm going to tell you uh, what you're going to need to actually make a door hanger. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to get is uh, some cardstock paper. Um, this here is a package of cardstock paper. I think I purchased this at Walmart. Um, it is uh, 110 weight. You're going to want something that has some, uh, some weight to it. This is 110 weight uh, cardstock paper. In this package you've got 150 pages. Um, it's, it's good, solid, sturdy. Uh, paper. Um, this paper here would be sufficient for making a door hanger. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to get a design for a door hanger. Now I have some um, designs on uh, timetoreach.org. They're uh, free um, templates that you can use to design a door hanger. Uh, you can download them. They're in Word. Uh, it's a Word doc so you can download them. You can design them any way that you want. Basically what you're going to do to design a door hanger is if you were to go into Word to start from scratch without any uh, uh, any template, um, what you're going to do is you're going to, under uh, your page layout, you're going to landscape the page layout. Then you're going to split into three columns. Um, so you'd have a three-column uh, layout. Um, and then you would design a front. And you would print copies of that. Then you'd flip the door hanger over. And then you print copies of that. Again, I have uh, design options that are free uh, templates you can download at design by I'm sorry at timetoreach.org. Um, the design templates, and you can go in there, download the uh, Word doc, and then go ahead and um, design your uh, door hanger. Now, here are what a door here's what a door hanger looks like after it's been designed. Um, you'll see three columns here. Um, I printed this, and I'm going to show you how I print them in the next video. And then on the back, you'll see three columns here. This would be the finished product of what a door hanger looks like after it's printed. In the following video videos, I'm going to show you how to punch the door hangers, how to cut the door hangers, and then how to cut the notch in the door hangers that you need to actually put it on the door. And then I'm going to show you how to wrap the door hangers so you can keep them organized, keep them together, and so that you aren't bending your corners uh, before you actually go out in the community and place the door hangers. The next video, I'm going to show you how these door hangers are printed. And thank you for watching.